They're talking about Machesel Dick and Caiaphas and the Book of Asher and the Lost Book. Okay, so I've seen different things, different inspirations. Smoked a little bit of weed. Sometimes when I smoke weed, it's like a double edged sword. It makes the vision more foggy, but it also blurs out the world and helps me get into my own zone. To talk to God, you have to be in your own zone, you know, and for God to talk to you and for you to hear what he's saying. Now, just because you're in that zone doesn't mean God's going to talk to you. That's what makes you a prophet. If you actually find God and he talks to you, then you're a prophet. That is my definition of prophet. Is that somebody who either was seeking God or God found him. In my case, I was seeking God and I connected with God. Other people, they're going through life and God just came down and bow. And actually, no, they're fucking have revelations. Me, I was going the right path, you know, getting led astray sometimes, struggling hard on the path. I was doing exactly what I'm supposed to do, going through pain and turmoil, disagreeing with everybody. Why society convinced me that I had a mental disorder as a young man. And this is something that my parents to this day still believe. And so it's not only is a prophet not recognized in his hometown, in the modern day world, he's going to be seen as somebody with a mental disorder. Because he's going to act up. He's going to yell things people don't understand. He's going to put things away that seem crazy. So he's going to be ranting in a way that people don't understand, which is what people see as manic. They're going to, they're going to call him schizophrenic. They're going to call him psychotic. They're going to call him bipolar. Because he's going to be talking about wars where people get killed. Yeah, there's people going to get gnashing teeth, heads getting chopped off, divine judgment, right? That sounds like psychotic talk, right? We talk about, uh, um, we talk about, I'm talking all fast because I'm, I want to get the message out before it goes away. Because the message is not always there. It's time and space and sacred ground. And God was coming to me on my sacred ground in a certain time and a certain space. And I got to tell you it before it goes away. And what does that seem like? You guessed it. Symptoms of manic bipolar or manic depressive disorder. Or bipolar disorder in the manic arena. Now don't you see what I'm saying? Now, what happens when I see great catastrophes and people I care about getting turned to fucking nothing, getting cut up, getting boiled by fucking lava, eaten by locusts, all kinds of shit, bit fucking mountains falling on these motherfuckers, lightning hitting these motherfuckers, blood fucking in the water turned to blood, and they're trying to drink it and they're getting sick and they're getting all kinds of weird STDs because the water turned to blood and it's infected by STDs for some fucking faggot taking a swim. Think about it, cuz! What kind of effect does that have on the normal person? He's going to start displaying symptoms of depression. So, what you're telling me is either this person does not receive God, or that receiving God means you're going to be depressed, bipolar, schizophrenic, and psychotic will all be that. I'd rather be depressed, bipolar, schizophrenic, and psychotic in your eyes than allow you to convince me that that's what I am so that I think that that's what my kid will be so that I sacrifice my kid to Satan. No, 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 no. I'd rather sacrifice all you crackers to Satan before you get me to follow that train of thought you want me to follow. Or you label me as someone with a mental disorder so when it's time for me to complain about my rights oh he's got a mental disorder he doesn't really mean what he's saying let's take him to the nut house blah, blah. see you're gonna give them the instruments you're gonna give them the gun they're gonna use to shoot you in the head you're gonna give them the chains they're gonna use to tie you up and take you away without a fair trial anytime they want you're gonna give them the flame they're gonna use to burn up your constitutional rights you're gonna give them the right to give you a police state a fucking Nazi concentration camp it's built around this whole motherfucking country and do you think they haven't done it before what about the Japanese internment camps you blind fucks what about the FEMA camps what about Alex Jones reported in the news that they came out the other day at the CIA torture camps. I think it was North Carolina. So you're telling me that these crackers are building East and West Germany all over again in one big world police state where this faction controls that concentration camp and this faction controls that concentration camp and the barrier is the fucking ocean. Thank you.